beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful df to dm reading i do hope that you're all well and you're staying focused believing and trusting and believing in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that is within you i hope you're feeling refreshed ready for this new week also uh, the main twin flame reading is up and the weekly twin flame reading um, is up too if that's of interest to you it is going to be um, a wonderful week um, we're getting very close to that 11 11 portal opening and the beginning of next week we're going to be having that new moon in Scorpio as well um, but last week was an amazing week but you know it could have been quite full on for you because you know you was really facing things within you beautiful soul that's watching so you could be a divine masculine that's watching um, so this is a channeled message of what your divine feminine wants you to know in this moment and we are working through things and facing things at different times so that's why it is so special and you could be a divine feminine that's cross watching and um sorry i've started shuffling um you could be cross watching and this is just helping you understand what's going on within you and there may be something where you're feeling there i'd love to say that to my divine masculine it's like oh my goodness this resonates um so i'm going to be using the twin flame power oracle first of all to see what's coming through what your divine feminine would love to show and express um, so I'm going to get the Divine Pen Message Tarot in as well from beautiful Liz. So what is it that you would love to share and express to the Divine Masculine? Beautiful Divine Feminines. What is it you want to get off your chest? What have you got to say for yourself today? Nice, clear message. Opportunity. Um, and it's number 30, which is strong faith. So your divine feminine wants you to know that, you know, they have been strengthened their faith the muscles. All the different things that have been going on, they have, you know, work, been working through different lessons. And even in the uncomfortable times, they have this awareness that everything is happening for a reason. And it is for their highest good. And it has strengthened their faith muscles. They've grown so much through these challenging times. And... They're in this place now where they're bringing this new opportunity in because they're seeing life so different, Divine Masculine. Purification, yeah. The Divine Feminines have been going through this deep, deep purification cleanse, getting rid of what no longer serves them. And they want you to know this. And you know that anyway, <laughs> Divine Masculine, because you're, you've been going through this purification. You've been facing yourself. Um, and it's number five, so there's lots of movement and change going on with the Divine Feminine. And three is strong faith again, so we've got 33 coming through in this reading. And this adds up to eight, which is infinity and abundance. So much abundance, you know, the Divine Feminines are open to this abundance now. Learning to receive, and so many opportunities are coming in. It's been very painful, this purification. And you know that as well, Divine Masculine, because you have, you know, you, you're, you're feeling, you, you're going through the same thing because you're one energy, you're one self expression. The Divine Feminine is expressing themselves so differently and they want you to know. And there is so much that your Divine Feminine wants to actually express to you. They want to share with you what's been going on in this purification. They want to share with you all the different opportunities that are flowing into them, you know, to them now. So expressing themselves. And then we've got 49. So we've got building on solid foundation with number four. And nine is near end of a cycle. Expression. <laughs> Just really expressing themselves in a whole new place. From a whole new place, sorry. And it's with confidence. It's with who they truly are. Because they haven't got this stagnant toxic energy that's within them they've been releasing this they really want to, to share that with you with you and again they really do i want to express themselves so differently to you with you know being the goddess being the god that they are instead of coming from this place of fear divine masculine unconditional love yeah and it's number 36. So this adds up to nine, which we also have the nine there as well. So near end of a cycle completion. And number three, again, strong faith. So three, three, three coming through in this reading. And six, 
the divine feminine is are pushing through and they're pushing through they found that love that unconditional love that is within themselves they are loving themselves unconditionally and they're seeing through all the illusions they're seeing through what's right in front of them they are so in tune with themselves and their expression is so so powerful and they're creating a whole new life for themselves divine masculine <laughs> so let's see what else wants to come through for today what the divine feminine would love to share and express to the divine masculine so that one flipped the star yes yeah, the, the, the divine feminine is being the star i know our future is being guided i know i'm open to this i'm not trying to control this anymore i'm trusting and believing in god the universe higher power and i'm open to receive signs synchronicities this guidance um, i know that this relationship, this love that we share <laughs> because we're one energy, we're one soul, it has been protected. I haven't got to worry about this anymore. And I love you unconditionally, one masculine. I love you from a whole new place now. I experience that when you come into my life and then I've had to go through this purification. I want you to know now. I love you unconditionally. I'm not loving you with condition. I'm in my heart space. <clears throat> what else is coming through? Please, divine feminines, to the divine masculine death. I'm transforming through the pain. Yeah, I've been in this, and it's on top of purification that I have been going through this transformation, this purification, releasing what no longer serves me. And it's been quite painful. I've learned and grown as I said, strengthened my faith muscles through the pain. I've been facing the pain instead of avoiding it. I've been the star. <laughs> so they've had this death. They've changed so much to my masculine. And five of swords, I'm a warrior of this love and I will prevail. Yeah, nothing's going to get me down. Nothing is, can get me down anymore because I found that unconditional love that is within me. And this strong relationship the connection bond with higher power with god with the universe before i didn't have that i didn't have that all i was full of was fear and doubt i was so unsure of myself but i've been transforming through the pain by feeling deeper emotions and i i I'm feeling so strong um and it doesn't matter what life throws at me i i push through because I'm expressing myself so differently. I'm radiating out my pure energy of who I am, my light, without that lower, dense energy. I'm radiating out completely different to what I was before. I know that I'm the creator of my life and from what I'm creating now is so much abundance, so much of opportunity. I've learned so much. And I'm feeling so much more powerful. And nothing can get me down now because I know I have the tools. I know the truth. I fo I'm focusing on the surface and learning to give to myself what I need. Yeah, six of pentacles. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving to myself. I'm giving this unconditional love to myself and I know that me actually giving this unconditional love to myself, I'm giving it to you too because we're one soul, we're one energy and, you know, I know that my service is to be myself. <laughs> For me to be comfortable with myself because what then what I'm radiating out is peace, joy and that's what this world needs right now so that's what i'm focusing on of being a service to this world to humanity by taking responsibility of my energy having this awareness of what i'm actually sending out to one masculine hmm. i'm strong i am a warrior of love i've learned and grown so much through pain and our future together is going to be so bright because it is being guided 
I have surrendered and I'm allowing God, the universe, to love me and to protect me. So thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful DF to DM reading. I do hope that this resonates with you, Divine Masculine, um, and it's made you smile because it's a beautiful channeling today. And if you're a Divine Feminine that's watching, I hope that it does resonate and it's made you smile too. And um, this is, you know, you expressing, you know, that urge that you may have today, that you, what you want to express to your Divine Masculine. Um, so if you would like extra support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya! Oh, that's your soul.